Hello there. This is MD. Here with you on Saskiano. Here we go again. We are in a new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to do some basic motion tracking. To add text to a shot. Alright. To follow along in this tutorial, make sure to open up the motion tracking file. And also, you're going to need some footage to work with. In this case, if you want to follow along with this clip. So I just opened up this footage in the footage viewer here. I don't think that's something that I've shown you at this point. In the footage viewer. Can be a useful tool. To be able to set to be in and out points. Of your footage. Before you use them. Or before you add them to a composition. And in the fact. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm gonna show you how to motion tracks on things in this shot. But the shot has 49 seconds long. We don't really need to motion track the entire thing. So instead. I'm going to go from about 29 seconds. And I'm going to set the end point and then i'm gonna go to perhaps 38 seconds and i'm gonna set the out point then i'm gonna take my footage here and i'm gonna drag it down onto the new composition button and when i do a new composition will be created. And it'll have the same name. As the footage. Now I don't like that. So in the project panel here. When I select that comp. Press enter on the keyboard. And rename it. Motion track. You can see the name updates down here. And also the length of this composition is not 49 seconds. Now. It looks like it's 38 seconds. Long. But that's actually not true. Because it starts at the 29 second mark. And if this for whatever reason doesn't work for you. And you want to change it. It's no problem. You can jump into the composition settings. By hitting Ctrl K on your keyboard. Or coming up to composition. And then choose. Composition settings. And then you can change the start time code here. 2. 0. In fact. That's what I'm going to do now. And I can see my comp is actually only 9 seconds long. Alright. Let's talk about how to motion track this footage. And in particular. I want to attach some text to. This car here. To do that. I'm going to select my footage. And then I'm going to come over here. To the tracker panel. And if this is not available, go here to Window, Tracker, and then, I'm going to hit the Track Motion button. When I do, that's going to open up the layer panel here. It's another type of viewer. In this let us work on an individual layer, independently of the composition. And that's how the tracker works. And if for whatever reason, when you're in this layer viewer, if it looks terrible, that's probably because it inherits the resolution or the down sample factor from your composition. So if you had this at like 25% and this was set to auto, it's going to be doing a 25% down sample. So if you jump over to your layer viewer here, you can see that that looks pretty nasty. And if we were trying to track the motion, on this video. That might not work out so well. So instead. I'm going to make sure this is at. 100%. And when I do. Over here in the layer panel. Things are going to be at 100% resolution as well. Even though I bumped into 200% here. It's going to be using that 100% resolution. Or the full resolution of my comp panel. So, when I hit the track motion button, I got a track point, 
There's a bunch of different options here. We can track position. And rotation. Or position. Or rotation. Or scale. Or all three. As a few different types of track. Stabilize. Transform. Low corner pin. And more. But for now. We're just gonna do something very simple. We are gonna use one tracker. And we're going to track the position. So what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna move this track point. By clicking on this inner box here. I'm gonna move it to somewhere. That has a really nice feature to track. Now a good feature is something that's very distinctive in the layer. That does not change over time. Basically, think of After Effects looking at the footage. And it needs to be able to see. Whatever this little detail is. Throughout the entirety of the portion of the clip that you want to track. If for whatever reason. This got obscured by something. After Effects would not be able to track that very well. There's other ways to handle that. But for now. We're gonna pick something that is going to be visible at the beginning of the shot. And at the end of the shot. And if we zoom. And take a look down here. Yeah we can still see that. It changes perspective. But I think that's going to be okay. I'm gonna come back to the beginning of the composition. And I'm gonna adjust some things here. This inner box here is called the feature region. Whatever is in this box. Is what After Effects is going to be looking for. And we want this to be a distinctive feature. For example. If we try to track this right here. We said well I need someone to stick right here. Of that would not be a very good idea. Because there's nothing distinctive in here. Even though. After Effects may be able to stick this. Or the car. It's gonna bounce all over the place. Because it's not gonna know frame to frame what to stick to. However, if we pick something that's high contrast. And distinctive. Like this window here. Or this window. It's going to work really well. This middle point here is the attached points. So this is where the track is actually going to be mapped to. And you can change that. But for right now I'm just going to leave that as is. This outer box here. Is the search region. So After Effects is going to be looking for this element, or this feature, inside this box here. So when he goes to the next frame, this is going to move. And depending on how fast your feature moves, within your footage, you may need to adjust. This search box here, if it gets bigger, After Effects will be looking for it more. So if you have something that's moving really fast, you need to make this bigger. If you have something that's moving pretty slow, you can make this smaller than you think. Why would I just want to leave it big? In the After Effects figured out. Well, the bigger you make this, the more problems you can run into. One, it's going to take way longer because After Effects is going to be searching in a huge area. Secondly, you can jump to another thing that can look very similar. Like it could jump to this window here. Because that kind of looks like this. Or that right. There two after effects. That could look pretty similar. So I'm gonna keep this nice and small. What kind of a medium amount. And I will come over to the tracker panel. And I'm going to hit analyze forward. Before I do. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. Because I want to monitor what's going on with this track. So as this analyzes the footage, I just want to make sure that that looks more or less locked to my object that I am trying to track as it goes off the screen. I'm going to stop the track by hitting the space bar to reposition my comp here so that I can keep an eye on that tracker as it finishes out this motion track. I see we ran into a small problem there right at the very end here. Things got a little squirrely. We're looking pretty good. It's more 
or less in the right location. But right here. Because things kind of moved a little bit quicker. After Effects lost it. So. No problem. What I can do is. Just back this up a little bit. Maybe to here. And then I will increase. The region window. It'll also increase the search area. And just analyze forward from here. And it will rewrite all of those frames there. No need to delete those. You can see that. Now each one of these is more or less locked right on there. At the very end, it kind of loses it. Right. No, it's actually fine. If you have been following along with me so far in this tutorial, I want to say good job. Because motion tracking is not the most exciting thing in the world. However, it's going to get a little more exciting. Coming up in the next tutorial, when I show you how to apply this motion tracking data to an object, attach some text to it, so it follows our car down the road. It's gonna look pretty cool. So check that out. Finally, we are done for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comments section. Also, if you want to learn more, take a look at our first channel. Everything PS. See you next time. Bye.